Chapter 4 Chapter 1 In the winter of 1885, a young Russian mouse named Fifo stood proudly while his father placed the Mouskovitz family hat on his head. And for you, Fifo, a new hat. Oh, Papa, thank you. S Suddenly, the Mouskovitz holiday celebration Suddenly, the Mouskovitz holiday celebration was interrupted. The house shook with the thundering attack of Cossack cats. The Mouskovitz family heard that there were no cats in America, so they left their Russian home to find happiness across the ocean. In America, there are no cats. It was a long and rocky voyage to America. To pass the time, Papa told Fifel about the fish in the sea. Fifel wanted to see them all. Yes, tiny fishes, not so tiny fishes, fishes as big as this boat. <sighs> Fifel decided to sneak up on deck and see the fish. Quickly, the tiny mouse ran up the stairs before his father could stop him. Fifel, wait! Papa Mouskovitz called after Fifel, but it was no use. He watched helplessly as his son was swept out to sea. Fifel! Amazingly, Fifel had washed safely ashore in a bottle. The young mouse arrived in the New World with only one wish to find his family. America! I thought it was bigger. Fifel met Warren T. Rat, a sneaky character, who promised to bring Fifel to his family. Little did Fifel know, he was walking into a trap. Do you really know where my family is? Trust me, eh? Trust me. Warren T. Rat led Fifel to a workhouse run by a bully named Mo. Fifel knew he had been tricked. His family was nowhere in sight. What about my family? You don't need a family, kid. You got a job here. Luckily, Fifel made friends with Tony Taponi. That night, while everyone was asleep, they both escaped out the window. I want to get out of here. <laughs> you and me both. The next day, Fifel and Tony stumbled upon a meeting to rid the town of cats. Papa was wrong, Fifel thought. There were cats in America. Are you going to let those cats push you around? There are cats here. What will I tell Papa? A rich old mouse named Gussie Mouseheimer challenged the crowd to come up with a plan. Fifel knew just what to do. We have got to do something about these cats. I have an idea. The town mice set to work, bringing Fifel's plan to life. They found plenty of creepy stuff to use in the boarded-up Digitalis Museum. We have a plan! <coughs> the mice assembled pieces of scrap metal cloth, and rope to create their secret weapon. The cat gang was in for a big surprise. <coughs> <coughs> F 
Vifo was on his way to the museum when he thought he heard his father's violin. But the violinist wasn't his father. It was Warren T. Rat. Warren T. Hey, no cheat. Fifo had accidentally walked right into the cat's hideout. He couldn't believe his eyes. Warren T. Rat wasn't a rat. He was a cat. You're not a rat. You're a cat. Get me that mouse. The cats caught Fifo and locked him up. Fifo thought all cats were mean until his guard, Tiger, took pity on him and helped him escape. You know, I thought all cats were supposed to be mean. I like mice. Fifo ran as fast as he could to the museum, with the cats hot on his trail. Little did the cats know, the secret weapon was waiting inside. <coughs> Warren T. Rat threatened to destroy the museum and all the mice in it. Fifo told the crowd that Warren T. was a cat. He's not a rat. He's a cat. He's their boss. Wow, and you're through. The secret weapon was released. It chased the cats down the pier and onto a boat bound for Hong Kong. Fifo was a hero. Afterwards, Tony was looking for Fifo when he met the Mouskevitzes. Seeing the family hat, Papa knew his son was alive. It could still be another Fifo Mouskevitz. No, Papa. Look. Fifo may have been the hero who scared the cats out of town. But he still was alone. His family had never tried to find him. I've been looking for my family. Uh, Why are you looking for them? They should be looking for, for you. you. The next day, Fifel awoke to hear his name being called. He turned to see his friends and family. They hadn't forgotten him after all. Fifel. Fifo and his family were finally reunited. Life in America was all they thought it would be, and much, much more. The end. My Fifo, I thought I would never see you again. Never say never, Papa. <laughs>